In our app, we can log in, we're taken to the profile page of the authenticated user, and this authenticated user can go anywhere. But when a user is unauthenticated, and they try to go to the profile page, they're successfully able to go there. And as a result, we get a 404 error. And this makes sense. Obviously, we can't get an unauthenticated user's profile. So we want to make this profile page a protected route. Only authenticated users should be able to see it. So with our current setup, how do we do that? How do we make that protected? Well, if we look at in our auth file, auth initial props, we're simply getting the token value from either the server side or the client side, and then returning it. Let's make use of this second function and provide a parameter to it called isProtectedRoute. If we have a protected route, if we're passing in a value of true to this parameter, and let's just jump ahead and do that. So to profile, we'll pass in a value of true for our isProtectedRoute argument. And we'll say within auth initial props, if we have a protected route. We want to redirect the user. We want to return early from this function again, redirect user. And this will be a function that we'll create in a bit. But first we need to check for other conditions. If we have a protected route, if we specify that our route's protected, we only want to redirect a user if that user's anonymous. If we have an authenticated user, we don't want to redirect them. So to find out if a user's anonymous, we'll take our auth variable and from it we'll get the user data with auth.user and we'll set that equal to a variable called user. Now we'll determine that a user is anonymous and we'll create an is anonymous variable if either there's no user data at all or if they don't have a user type that's equal to authenticated. Remember, of course, when we created our cookie, we had this auth user type variable, which is set to the string authenticated. Maybe in production, say we're using this for production, we'd set that to an environment variable. So we'll redirect only in the case that we have a protected route and the user is anonymous. And we also don't want to redirect if they're already on the path that we want to redirect them to. So if they're unauthenticated, if they're anonymous, we'll want to take them to the login page, to the login route. So we'll also create a variable called current path, which will check to see if there's a request. If there is a request, we can just take the URL property from the request to figure out where we are in the app. Otherwise, if we're in the browser, we can say window.location.pathName. So we'll add another condition, another and condition, to specify if the current path is not equal to the login path, then we'll redirect them. So this redirect user function that we'll create will take two arguments, the response, so we'll need that from our context response, as well as the path that we want to redirect them to, which is the login path. So we'll add redirect user right underneath, and we don't need to export this. It takes the response and the path, And if we have access to the response, so we'll include this conditional to say, if we have a response, we can redirect with it using the redirect method with res.redirect. And with this method, we have two different kinds of redirects. We have a permanent redirect, which is a 301 redirect, or say where the site has moved to a different permanent address, or a 302 redirect, which is a temporary redirect. And these different codes are significant for SEO purposes, I believe. And as the second argument, we'll pass through the path we want to redirect to. And then with next applications, on our response, we have this special finished property. And this finished property tells Next that we've handled the entire request response lifecycle in get initial props, so that Next knows, knows to not keep writing to the response. So in order to declare that, we'll set res.finish to true. And then we'll just return an empty object because again, we need to return some form of an object when we're executing get initial props. 
So otherwise, if we don't have access to the response, we're just going to redirect on the client with the next router. So we can say router.push, or another method we can use is router.replace, and pass it the path, and again return an empty object. So I believe that should do it. We'll save, and then we head back, and we log out, and we go to home, and as an unauthenticated user, we try going to the profile, we're automatically kicked back to the login page. And if we try typing in the profile route manually, we're kicked back to log in there as well. <laughs>